I began um, to, to get involved in the area of individual and collective protection, I, I want to say back in the early 90s. Um, first of all, you know, when I first came to uh, the issue of Chemical Biological Center, I served as a producibility engineer working in detection. Three years after, I ended up uh, transitioning to the area of physical protection. That was the name that it was uh, the branch uh, that addressed all issues related to individual and collective protection. In the area of uh, individual protection, my division is responsible for everything that is above the shoulder. So we're talking about respirators, the filters that are in the respirators, and everything that encompasses the capability of providing that individual protection to the warfighter. In the area of collective protection, specifically we deal with filtration, barrier material, um, contamination control areas, shelters, and uh, the mechanisms and the systems that provide uh, a collective protection capability to a number of warfighters. My role as a head of delegation is to ensure that the position of the United States is heard, considered, and also have the ability to influence the information that is used to later form a standardization agreements that nations then use to procure uh, the equipment to defend uh, their armed forces. You know, we have seen a number of countries out there that not only have a capability, but they also have the interest of harming, uh, harming others, including people, uh, Americans, all the people abroad. So it is very important that we, together with all the nations, just leverage resources to ensure that all the best capabilities that are out there can be made available, not only to the warfighters, but also to civilians to protect themselves in the event that they face a chemical attack. As a minority here within ECBC, I truly believe that this organization had given me all the opportunities that I could imagine. Uh, essentially, I feel very welcome uh, here, uh, and along the way, I have received uh, the support of many mentors, people that had care about me, that care about uh, who am I, and that uh, allow me to grow. You know, the opportunity to serve as a supervisor, leading people, uh, was given to me uh, here uh, and allow me to then uh, mentor people, help them grow, help them uh, reach the highest level of uh, capabilities, opportunities that they may, may want to have. I never felt uh, discriminated. I never felt uh, any kind of uh, barriers being put along the way. Uh, instead, uh, a number of doors opened for me that allowed me to become who am I today. Thank you.